Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel, JB Tech. Today I'm talking about docking. So, <clears throat> there's a new range of docks released by Dell. This is the USB Type-C dock. Okay, so, what we're doing is there's an evolution and a move away from your specific product type docking. So things that are uh, specific for certain devices such as tablets, such as laptops. So here, as you can see under here, is the big chunky E-Type dock the pins there which your laptop sits down onto and also if you look over here also got the uh, tablet type dock as well the productivity dock so <clears throat> a bit of a 101 for those who don't know what USB C is so it's an evolution of USB type A so the biggest difference here is is it can carry bi-directional power through here so not only can it power devices as in a device with USB type C but it can also charge so two-way power so this connection here is USB Type-C. Okay, so it comes in kind of two different variants. Um, they've got the same connector here. This is a USB Type-C dock, but there's also a Thunderbolt type dock. So I'll talk about the differences between them in a minute. Okay, so why is this evolution of docking? Is because you're only going to have that one connection. So this is a converged cable for all your information to flow through and also charging. So what I mean by that is you can connect your USB devices through here. You can connect to your network through this one cable. You can connect to a, a keyboard and mouse, external keyboard and mouse, and all the time charging through that connection as well. As I mentioned, it's a bi-directional connection. It goes in either way. There's no wrong way to put this in. And it's tested it's about um, 100,000 times more reliable than USB type A. <clears throat> so... That's kind of what's happening. So more and more laptops, tablets and devices are coming out with a, a connection that this can plug into. OK, so if we have a look at the dock itself, let me just take that out for the minute. So the dock itself is nice milled aluminium. OK, and then if I bring it closer on the front, you've got a microphone, sorry, a headset port. You have got two USB type three ports there, Kensington on the side to lock it down, and on the back is all your good old fashioned ports, well I say old fashioned, you've got HDMI, <coughs> display port, well mini display port should I say, good old VGA, because people love that connection, gig ethernet network, two USB 2s, a line out, another USB 3 on the back, and then you've also got the, the connection to power the device. <coughs> There's also a power button here, now that's not to power this device itself, but that's actually to be able to power on and off the device that you've got connected because it might be a laptop that you've got closed, you know, the lid shut and you can't reach the power button. <clears throat> and then this cable here <clears throat> is a USB Type-C. Now, this looks like a fixed cable. However, if you undo these two screws, <clears throat> you can actually gain access. So if you wanted a longer cable or shorter cable, you could actually buy a generic USB Type-C cable and, and change it with inside there. Okay, so light, small, portable. And that's the key thing here. As I mentioned, this is a replacement to your E-Type docking, your productivity dock. So removing those, those proprietary locking technologies. Okay. So what, what other advantages does this have? It is the portability. It's very small. You find that this productivity dock is very big. Okay. It's a very large device that can only really sit and stay on your desk. It's quite weighty to keep your, your tablet down. Same applies to the e dock. So, if you look at the e dock, it's big, it's chunky, it's cumbersome. That wouldn't go anywhere else other than inside your, uh, stay on your desk. You never put that into your bag. So, like I said, the beauty of this is you can actually take your connectivity options out of the office with you. So, you could take this home, you could take it to your home office, you could take it to a customer's site, give you more options around plugging your device in. The only thing that detracts from it slightly is the power supply itself. So it is a traditional laptop power block, power bank, okay, with a see end to it, two ends, and then that plugs obviously into the device. So, but still, those two together, I'll be stacking like that, it's still a lot more portable and a lot more easy to carry around than, than trying to take the other type of docks with you. Okay, so. <clears throat> What I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug it up and I'm going to kind of show you how it works, what you do. So I'm going to 
attach it to a uh, Latitude 7370, um, one of our new uh, business range high-end laptops, and um, kind of connect up and show you what it does, um, just so you kind of get an idea of what the dock does. Okay. Right, so I've now got my Latitude 7370 sat here, which has got USB Type-C <coughs> connections on it. So it's got the dock here, so again you find your connection and all you do is plug it in either any of the USB Type-C ports, either way up, and then what happens is it connects to the dock. Okay. So there we go, connected. As you can see above, I've also got the screen of C. It's on my monitor and also on the desktop. So you can set it to extended desktop mode, duplicate, you know, anything, any traditional desktop settings within Windows. Um, and as well, as I mentioned, you know, this is, um, this dock is the USB type C. So it runs, um, transfer rates up to five gigabits per second. So that's more enough for general data. So general network connectivity for transferring files for being able to charge it as well. So the unit itself is 130 watts, which is more than enough to be able to handle most most of uh, Dell's range of, of portable devices, things like Precisions, XPS 15s, they, they need to draw more power. Um, so that's when you use a thing like the, the um, Thunderbolt type dock. Um, I will do a separate review on Thunderbolt, Bolt, Thunderbolt type dock. Um, <clears throat> but going back to the USB type C uh, dock, I've got the Logitech little dongle in there. And then I've got my keyboard with trackpad. So I've now got, as you can see, Full control of the machine from here so as you can see the actual device even though I'm obviously using the data you can see that it says it's fully charged which doesn't really help me but it's plugged in as you can see so it's plugged in and charging <coughs> and then what I can do as well is just to demonstrate a bit better I've got a uh, my USB drive here so this is my PlayStation 4 save data, because I keep a backup of it just in case. Now I'll put that in as well. Obviously it's going to search for the device, it's going to spin up, and then in the bottom corner here we should have that it's picked up an E or F drive or something like that. You've got to bear in mind that's a SATA disk that I've connected up, not an SSD, so just take a little bit of time. There you go. So see what happens with the external drive. Open to view this. So as you can see, it's you know all your connectivity all goes through here, all through this one cable, <coughs> and communicates and charges with the with the device. <coughs> so, as for kind of what it can realistically drive and support, um, I believe at the moment in time, based on the firmware that's in here, it can drive up to two um, 1080p screens. I've got a 2K screen up there, and obviously just want one key screen connect. So I might struggle if I try to connect two of these to the to the um, dock, might not be able to drive that. So I hope that kind of shows what USB type C connectivity is. Um, it's a move away from proprietary lock-in of things such as the e-dock and the productivity dock for the tablets. It's a standardization and it's a single connection to do all your connectivity all your data needs, so that's networking, that's video, that's audio, keyboard and mouse, <coughs> USB hard drives, so that's connected, um, external keyboard and mice, <coughs> so you can put this on your desk, fold it down shut, and then just continue working on the uh, on the master screen. So what do you, the other thing it also gives you is improved portability, so this nice little device can go out and about with you. Um, we do do Smaller little dongles, which is this, without any intelligence shrunk down, which has got a lot of this connectivity, which you just plug in, and um, which you could take out with you. So in theory, you could plug that into one of the USB Type C ports, and then you could leave the other one free for a charger to plug into, one that you just run to a normal wall socket. Um, but the beauty of this stuff is everything through the, the one cable. So we do do other add-on little bits and pieces that would uh, would connect. Um, and since I've got one of the new, um, this is one of the new. Uh, Latitude 11, so this is the 11-inch tablet running on the Skylake CPU, it's a 5175, that's got a USB Type-C, so it doesn't have to be a laptop. What I could very easily do is disconnect that, find the USB Type-C port in that, and now that device is charging, and uh, if it was turned on, it would also be doing the uh, the, the uh, video as well, but it it's not. Oh, there we go, it's coming up now.
so you get the idea. It doesn't have to be a uh, a laptop type device, anything with USB type C. <clears throat> so I hope this uh, review was of use. Um, hope it kind of gave it a bit of an insight into what USB type C docking is and, and where things are moving to, especially with, with Dell on the technology side. Um, <clears throat> And what, what we're trying to achieve here, so so just uh, just talking while this is connecting up. So the hard drive should be picked and it should flash up at the bottom and it should also pick up the um, keyboard. Again, because it's the first time this uh, Latitude 11 is attached to it, it's going to uh, need to install some drivers and bits, bits and pieces. So I've got my, my mouse control and any minute now, there we go, connected. So you can see the uh, the bottom of my screen. It's all it's all connected up. So anyway, I hope my review was of use. Um, if you've got any feedback, any questions, just feel free to um, contact me.